strange sounds or like strange smells. There's like weird activity. Uh, police officers in New York City kept getting a lot of phone calls about this gentleman named Antoine Yates. So two police officers, they get up to the apartment door. They hear a very peculiar sound. The sound is just strange enough that they decide we're not going to immediately enter. So they decide, all right, here's what we can do. We're gonna cut a small hole in Antoine Yates' front door to kind of see what's going on. And then they look through that front door, through that very small hole, and that is when they see it. A fully grown, five freaking hundred pound Bengal tiger. So they kind of get this plan together. They go tranquilizing this 500 pound tiger. It goes well. They come in, get the tiger, and take the tiger to a zoo. Now, Antoine Yates was living with a 500 pound Bengal tiger for quite some time, and he thought that it was completely normal. But this is exactly my point. Because he was entirely blind to how dangerous this tiger was. Because it had been with him for so long, and at first it's not a big deal, and at first it's not that dangerous, and at first it's just a cute little fluffy pet that grows into something very dangerous and very obstructive to his life. And for all of us, it is very likely that all of us in this room, we have something in our life that we have made peace with, that we have no business making peace with. These personal dysfunctions that we all have come running at me, charging at me, snapping at me like a 500 pound Bengal tiger. So for you, I want you to think about what is your tiger? What is your tiger? What is some area of your life where you've invited something into your life? You've become so tolerant of something in your life that honestly has no business being a part of your life. Is that there's some kind of dysfunction in me perhaps in you, that's stopping you from moving forward with this. A mentor of mine, Craig Groeschel, he said this. He said, the pathway to your greatest potential is straight through your greatest fear. The question is not, do you have some tiger that you've made peace with that's gonna mess you up? It's will you have the courage, will you have the audacity, are you willing to humiliate yourself to a handful of people and say, look, I've realized I'm terrible at this, I gotta get some help, I gotta get some support, I gotta get some better structures in my life. We all have got a tiger. We need to deal with it.